the races you've been in against professionals this year have been really valuable in terms of getting some maturity and being ready for a race like this? Well, I think it's, it's probably just be a better racer. Be prepared for whatever's going on in the race and be able to stay awake and just in the race. With about 300 to go, there was a little bit of some contact and, yeah. and you were barely grazed by that. Did it throw you off at all? Um, I'm not really. There was still two people in front of me, so I just focused on that. And, Try not to let it happen. Did you watch uh, Mary and Amy and learn anything from watching them in the race before you? Uh, probably just to be aware of what's going on. Try not to get boxed in if I am to relax. I'll work my way out slowly. Uh, did you ever, do you, you and your coach ever talk about times that would have to get you through, or are you just worried about getting that top three, you know, racing yourself and, you know, putting yourself in the right position? Or do, you, do, you, do you even think about times? Um, the main goal first is trying to get top three, and after that, like, if I was the fourth or fifth, to so be mindful of the times of the other heat, so I know what I have to do try to get one of the other spots. With 30 meters to go, were you aware of people coming up on the Um... Not really until like I got to the line. Yeah. The races, they just make me think more, so it definitely like even though it's mental, it does take more. Did you bring any like antsy. Any different approach because of the weather today? So there was some context. Can you just describe what happened there specifically? Like, um, I don't really know what happened. I just know I saw a girl like that. Uh, me, so I just moved out and kept going. You just hopped out wide and just went around. Okay. All right, congratulations.